As the Omicron variant surges across the U.S., so has the demand for at-home rapid COVID tests. The two big buckets of tests that people are going to run into are PCR tests. They get sent to a laboratory and the test looks for the genetic material of the virus. And then the other kind of test is a rapid antigen test. You get results in 15 to 30 minutes and that's looking for proteins that the virus is making. The rapid antigen tests are very convenient for people to be able to see if they are infectious at that time. So it's a little complicated to know when you should get tested. And the CDC says still that your safest bet is about five days after exposure. There are concerns that with Omicron that people are going from a negative test to a positive test pretty quickly, that the virus might be replicating more quickly than previous versions. A small study showed that people before they tested positive with rapid antigen tests that they actually were able to transmit disease to others. If you have symptoms, if you have a sore throat, you have a known contact with somebody who had COVID or has COVID and you're still testing negative, retest again in 24 or 48 hours. To be on the safe side, you should assume that if you have symptoms, that you are in fact sick. Another small study that showed, well, maybe we should be swabbing our throats or using saliva samples, that those might help you detect COVID earlier than a nasal swab. This is still very much in flux. Nasal swabs actually work really well with Abercron. When you have the most virus in your nose, you're going to be positive on your rapid antigen test. That's when you need to be concerned because then you have a lot of virus in the air around your nose and then people have the risk of breathing in all that virus.